Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Expeditions Viking. Unfortunately, while I was recording the original part 8 of my Let's Play, I accidentally saved over the top of my most recent save, and then I made a mistake in one of the quests that I wanted to do, and that prevented me from being able to complete the quest in the way that I wanted to showcase in the video. And it also made a couple of other mistakes in quests up to that point. Uh, one of those featured in episode 6, I think, in my original um, ep episode 5, 6, and 7. So what I've decided to do is I've gone back to my uh, previous save, which happened during episode 5, and I have uploaded a new episode 5 where I've cut the video after the save game. So I'm going to be redoing uh, a few hours of gameplay, unfortunately, but I think that's the best thing to do for the Let's Play. Um... So I'm going to get going. Now, originally in episode 5, I was going to be going into this guy's longhouse and getting ambushed while in, a fe in the feast. And then in the initial video that I did, it took me a few goes to get the fight right. Now, I've decided in doing this over that I'm not going to do that quest immediately. I'm going to do a different one. Now, in, in episode 5, I was looking for the character I, that I needed to talk to to do the quest, the rats. And I have remembered that he is in the market. So I'm going to go and talk to him. And I'm going to go and do that quest first. And maybe a couple of other ones before I go and do the longhouse um, quest. It's this guy that I've got to speak to. Jada Jans Kagasin. Hail Oxail, Merchant Trading and Iron Works from the East, Please, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Having already purchased a house, I've arrived to find occupied by rats. By rats, they're a fierce bunch and I cannot take up residence in my home before they've been routed. I've had to pay dearly to lodge with a business acquaintance for the past two weeks while I've attempted to resolve the situation. Um, I'm after some reward, so I'm going to ask about compensation. Um, assistance will be worth a hundred of four tug of silver. Very well, let's do it. Okay, let's head up head up to the dilapidated homestead. Now this quest, um, how the how the how the characters that you are fighting in this particular sequence react is a bit random. Sometimes they all engage in combat and sometimes they just try and run away. I think they are scripted the, it's one of those prevent that prevent any of the characters from reaching the designated area once, but I think it's slightly bugged because they have to sort of come out this way, and I don't remember there actually being a highlighted area that they have to reach. There's also a bunch of traps set up in this sort of muddy area here, so I've got to be careful about avoiding those. So I'm going to go and talk to the leader, ask a jumper. And then you've got a few options here, and I'm going to be a smart ass. Yep, so I wasn't actually told that the rats were these kids. And then, there you go, what do you want? They want to be left alone. And then I don't have the finesse to be able to kill the leader. I can't, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on non-lethal combat and see what happens after that. All right, so this positioning isn't quite right, I don't think, so I'm going to move Gunnar there, I'm going to move Rostva back, Ketil cannot start there, I'm going to move him behind these boxes, I think it's probably worth as life moving up, uh, maybe to here, I think that's okay, so ideally, uh, maybe I should even move back a little bit. So I, know, I think there's a trap there, and there's maybe some traps here as well. Just in this position, my Anders is exposed to quite a lot of attacks. Maybe if I move him there, it reduces the amount of people that can engage him to two. And I don't mind Nephia being in the line of fire there. I think Rosfer, I can move her over maybe. I'm going to move Guna here. I think that's fine. So, yep, they're going for Anders. That girl, 
get another going for as life. They've gotten past his shield, which is a little bit annoying. And then the leader's making a run for it. So he has to do a loop around the building and then come back through this way. I think that's Kara. She's also making a run. No, Odney is making a run for it as well. Alright. So that woman, Vit, does quite a lot of damage. So I'm going to focus on taking her out. Maybe a heavy swing. And then I can probably use Anders to take, to, to take her out fully. And then for um, the Alpha, I think Nephia can probably do quite a bit of damage to her. Gunnar can do a rock throw on this little girl. And I need to I need to look at using because he's got this one here, Harry. So there, yeah, so one of the things, I've used up pretty much the full line of skills in the action bar here, and then you have to use this button to go down to the next one. So often a lot of the later game skills will be on the second row. It can be easy to forget to, to use them. Alright, I think that's fine. And then Kettle's got a couple of shots, and I think I'm going to take, I'm going to... Aiming, I'm gonna ranging shot on Floki, and I'm gonna try and do a quick shot on her to take her down, just to avoid getting hit by the sling. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, no worries. And then I think this is okay. As life is still flanked, but. Those two characters don't really do that much damage. I've got a rock throw that I can do here as well. Shield worked that time. Okay, so they're making a run for it down the street. I'm going to try and cut them off. Um, it probably... Is worth Gunnar going and killing that one. And then I can engage Asuka Jumper. Uh, heavy swing, chefs and DR, not really. I'm not too worried about her, I don't think. Anders I might actually come out and hit this guy. Charge is probably worth it. And because he's flanked, I get extra damage and he goes down in one hit. Um, Quinta. So I think I'm going to kill Kara. And then I'm going to come out and try and block some of the road. Does anyone have any movement points? She's going to have to do a tactical move if she doesn't want to trigger an AOO. Left click with Rosper. Kettle's got a shot. Over here. I'll just left click her down. And then there's just this one hiding in the corner. Shouldn't be too much of a trouble. shot this guy. If you can. Alright. So I didn't kill them, I just knocked them out. Let's do some looting. in the container there. Most of the time, unlike some games, you don't generally find hand place loot 
on all of the characters. A bit different from games like Baldur's Gate or Pillars of Eternity. Where characters drop all the items they're carrying. This is not one of those games, unfortunately. But then again, you know, sometimes it's better for the loot system. Because when you're picking up everything from all of the characters that you end up defeating, um, you end up with an abundance of money and you basically can buy anything you want. This game, it's not too bad. Like, I think in the late game, you do end up in... It's a, a pro common problem in RPGs is that you always have too much money, particularly if you're one of those players that do what I'm doing, where I'm going around looting every single container that I can and picking up everything off the ground. If you're a bit lazier, you can sort of not be that flush. Most RPGs, you will have too much money to be able to buy everything that you want. Uh, but this is one of those games where I think it's relatively balanced until a very late game. Okay, so I've dealt with the rats. Um, there's a couple of containers that I can loot that may have something. Can't take anything from that one or that one. So let's go back to the market and talk to the guy. Jada, and then I think once he leaves, I can loot his... Oh, his containers, I can already loot them. Okay. Uh, we gave them an ass kicking, they won't forget. Get a couple of skill points from that, which is nice. Can I loot that table as well? No. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly... What do you sell? I don't really need any of her stuff. I think these are just merchants. Um, Alright, so... I'm just going to have a quick look at the skills. Now, I know that I've got a lot outstanding on Aetis. She's got 43. So I'm going to assign a couple here. Uh, we need to spend... What is it? 100 or 50 or something like that. 89, need to spend 100 points. Level up the axe, and then maybe a level th something um, something low. Only needs a couple of points. Okay, 102. So now I can upgrade her cooking to already level 3. Repairing skill, that's the one I'm mainly interested in. We've got 10 left over. Um, so I'm going to save up for Inspire on Anders which is level three leadership. That's a really awesome skill. Um, it's very handy because it allows you to give your action to another party member, which can be useful in those cases where you, you get an enemy down to one more hit, but you're not in range with this character to kill him. So you can give your attack to someone else. Uh, that's a really nice one to have. Rosper's only got four points, so I'm not gonna worry about her. Guna, I think I want to get his axe up to level 3, so I'm going to save up for that. As life, I want to get shield level 3. Nephia, I also need to give him charge as well. I think that might, that's another one that I want to get. Nephia's got 9 points. I'm going to go with Relentless. And Ketil, he's got 3 on bow. Eventually, I'm going to spec him in healing. Hunting, it's might be a bad idea to level that up at some point to get some more um, to get some more meat while traveling and there's a few things I could give him but I'm definitely a few feats there that I could give him but I'm not going to worry about too much for now um, okay so I think next I'm gonna go out to the swamp because I want to do some of the quests in my quest log before I do one last drink because that, that fight's quite hard, and I think if I get a couple of more skill points, it'll be a bit easier. Oh, Assassins. Uh, there's a guy that I need to go and talk to on the docks to finish that one up, and they'll give me a few extra skill points. So when I was looking around for someone to identify the medallion from the Assassins that attacked me in the south of the map, this is the guy. Thor gear. Once again, there is music in the next room, so if you can hear some coming through. Apologies about that, but I think I've got my microphone tuned to the right level.
Thorgir Ubainson. Bet you travel far. Ever seen patterns like this on the medallion? And he has one that has a striking resemblance to it. I'm going to use Gunnar to intimidate him because that's the cheapest option. Decreases my reputation with the town by one, but that's fine. And then he says he was paid by a woman called Rogada to transport a group of shifty looking people here. So that is one of Schoolie's assassins. So he's number two. She's a very deadly archer that you have to fight. I think maybe, actually yeah, you get to fight her a couple of times in the game. So that is, I've finished up that quest, giving me three skill points. Let's have a quick look at how many I've got to spend. So I can get Inspire with Anders, so that'll be really handy. And then Gunnar's on 10, Azlife on 7, Ketil on 9. Do I really want to grab anything at this stage? Not, I'm not, I mean, Backstabber would be nice in combination with another one. Azlife, yeah, 10 points. I could level up the throwing skill by one, because he's not really doing any damage with his. Whereas Azlife and I are I think I'm going to leave that, and now that I've got level 3 repairing skill, I, I can turn some of this crappy equipment into salvage. And um, the when you're doing this in the inventory menu, it uses the highest level uh, repairing skill, and that is Adis' skill, so you don't have to worry about having that character selected. You can just do it, which I think is... Good design. Let's get rid of some of these crappy items from earlier in the game. Don't particularly need those. Alright, I think that's done. And now let's go probably do a uh, camping session before travelling to the marsh, and then I'll, I'll maybe do a marsh quest or two. Okay, so we'll clear out this occupied campsite before going there. What do we got? Wolves? Yes, alright. Six wolves. So wolves have um, 10 movement points, so they can move quite a fair distance. So what I think I want to do I'm getting his Tears Favor, because, which is a really good thing to start um, combat with with Gunnar if he's not in range to attack. And then I'm just going to hide behind these trees and rocks, let the wolves come to me, and I'm just going to pick them off one by one. Uh, I'm going to chuck her over here. As life, pop in this choke point. I'm going to put Ketil behind the rocks over here as well. Okay, that should be good. Uh, Rosper has an action. You, I don't think you can demoralize animals. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm actually going to use an interrupt. Just going to wait for the wolves to come into melee range. Rosper's going to get an attack off on any of the wolves because she was behind um, probably full cover and not not able to get a shot off. That's okay. I don't think I don't think this fight will be that difficult. I might take a couple of hits of damage, but other than that, I'm not too worried about it. So I can probably oh, there's a wolf already here. Okay, we'll take this this one down. Yeah, I know how to fight. Surprised. That was a nice critical, and then Rosford can probably mop kill that one. Um, use a throw a rock on this one. I think the prowlers do more damage than the actual wolves. We'll go with a reckless strike. A 
and then is it worth as life? Throw a rock there. Gunnar can probably run, run up and kill that wolf, actually. This is what I live for! Great. And then, as life, I'm going to use the ready action. This wolf might try and come around and hit Ketil, though. So I'm going to move him here. And I'm going to use an interrupt. Because I think that wolf's behind cover. And then Rusker's fine back there. Oh, they're coming back around the other way. So I think they might be scripted to avoid interrupts. This one might get attacked though. There we go. Okay. Throw a rock. And then reckless strike again. And then Rosker can probably finish off that prowler. Gunnar, throw a rock. And parrying. Free action. Free counter-attack. Nah, just go with the left click. And then I think it's, it might be worth throw rocking and attacking the wolf mother here. Yep, and then Rosker can come up to here and kill that one. Till an arranging shot, quick shot combo, this one, and that hopefully will get the kill. Nah, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough damage. Oh, oh shit, this. was that Pretty as cool. painful as it looked? Nice. Alright, camping. Anders is assigned tasks that yield no result. That's probably because of the shifts that I've selected. So I'll fix that. That's an opposite shift to as life. I'm going to do some... Actually, no. Repairing the armor. Oh, armor's not damaged. I'm going to repair Gunnar's axe. Um, got guarding Gunnar. Rosker still has available shifts. We need to, someone to do preserving. So I think we'll do... Preserving, actually. One preserving, one rich craft. I think that's good. And is still assigned to tasks that yield no result, but that's fine. Alright. So I think the, the quest that I'm mainly interested in finishing to begin with, oh, what did we find? Some wood, nice. Travel to the marsh, and everyone, I think, I think I am going to be arriving in the area with the buff from Adis's cooking. So I might have a slight stat boost to work with here, which I think will be handy. Let's have a, have a bit of a look. No. Alright, so, this area is, reminds me a little bit of like a Boulder's Gate wilderness area type thing. Um, I'm mainly interested in finding that merchant. There he is, Branga. So this is the merchant that stole all of Brana's stuff, her husband. Been looking for you, Brana sent me. Um... Your wife told me about what you'd done. Wait, she set the fire? That's quite a story. I don't believe him. I may have made mistakes, but do I deserve to die? I just can't let you go. And we're going to try and capture him. He doesn't want to be captured. Actually, he does. Let's grab him. Um, now I can let him go, or I can stab him. I think I'm going to stab him. That's what Vikings do. That seems more fitting. And we 
we're gonna take his supplies. You puny, puny imbecile. So I can go back and get the quest, the quest reward for that, and that'll give me some extra skill points, which will be helpful. Uh, ooh. What do we got here? Ah, okay. So we... We don't know who they are. We should be careful. So these are some of Schoolie's men, and they've got some captured people. Um, we're going to go with the ambush. And we're going to take out the leaders because I don't really care about securing the thralls because they can look after themselves. So we've taken down one and now we have to do this fight. Now we get to control these four thralls over here. Um, and I don't... They if, if these guys get taken down, it actually doesn't matter uh, because they get back up after the fight. And this one actually has a name. His name's Manny, so he's part of a quest that's involved in this area. So I'll be able to get in a bit of damage on this oaf over here, jo Jockelson, and then I can start. I think there's a few traps in this one. I don't exactly know where they are. Is that a free action? It is. I don't know if his skill is good enough. Got a 46% chance to hit. As life. Where are you gonna go, buddy? I'll try and go behind this cart. Yeah, there's a snare trap there. I can use Rosper to remove that. It might actually be worth using Demoralize, though, because that will mean that I'm not gonna get hit. Reduce my chance to be hit by those archers, so I think that's gonna be better. I'm gonna walk Nephia over here to get a hit on this guy. If I move here, maybe they can't shoot me. Actually, Ketil can hit that guy now. Alright, he's down. And then I can use a couple of these guys to potentially take away the ranged attack. Maybe of this guy. Manny's the one that I want to live. We've still got Gunnar with an action. We're going to use Tears Favor. It's a heavy buff to use at the start of combat, and then he can't really do anything at this stage. I need to use probably an Inspire action. Um, is there anyone that has a useful action though? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe Ketil? Because there's nothing like, that I can really do, because Ketil, like this path is blocked. Rosca, uh, move her into cover. I'm gonna go inspire Ketil maybe, because the only thing I can think of is maybe he can hit someone with, the, with his bow. 70% chance isn't bad. Oh, that's something. Alright, let's see how we go with that. Again, I don't mind if, if the thralls go down. They're even... Um, he's dead. <laughs> they missed funny. Okay, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? So I've got this guy. Doesn't have any... Oh, he's ensnared. Okay. Best I can do is probably punch someone. Nephia, Nephia, Nephia. I'm actually going to come over and hit this guy. I think. Um, I need to get. I need to get my characters up there. 
has life. You need to get into it. Oh, he's still ensnared, actually. And he's, he's blocking our way. So I think, I think the snare has ended now, but he... Or is he still ensnared? Demoralize. I think I'm going to have to go with that. This is annoying, actually. Nephia, however, can come around and hit this one, but then there's still four characters with bows, which is really it's a bit of a problem, actually. That's a nice do a range shot over here. Una, move him over here. I think there's more traps. Shot might be the go to hit this one. Even though it's pretty low damage. Um, come around here with Manny. Oh, interrupt. Missed anyway. Because I did a I did a demoralize. That guy's ensnared. I've got a left click available here. Because he might be able to come around and come in and come in on the other <gasps> side. Oh. At best we can do physical resistance. I think that's the only option that I've got. So I might lose some thralls on this one. Someone got ensnared, didn't they? Is he going to attack Nephew? Yes. Nephew's in trouble here, maybe. He might try and attack Nephew. He's trying to attack you now. No, that's okay. Alright, so I can run in and start wreaking some havoc now. So, charge on. Oh, that guy's interrupting. I, did, I forgot about him. Ouch. And then. Throw a rock. As life can move now, can't he? Oh yes, Jorek gets the kill. We can get in melee range of this guy. This this guy's a problem. Nephew, tactical move might be the way to go. This 
guy. So he's disabled. Can I actually grapple this guy as well? I can. <laughs> Excellent. And then we're going to use Manny to get in range of this one. Okay. Um, we can now come forward. This guy's grappled, so I can shoot him. And I can use the PC. I've got an Inspire. I'm going to uh, move forward, Inspire Kettle to get another shot on this guy. finish up this video after this battle. Uh, Alright, so we've got three enemies left. That guy's grappled. Um, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to end the turn. Tactical move. Alright. Grappling is really useful. Let's disable this guy. Rock. Has life to come in with a charge. Oh, you can't charge. Maybe a throw rock. Solve it. Yep, and then a left click. And then that last one that's hiding. Who's got an attack? Nephew. I need to finish off this guy. Rosfer's got an attack. I need to move Kettle. Oh, yeah, that's that's good enough. So there's one left. And it's gonna move you forward. Maybe to here. I can use one of the Use one of the thralls to get in the way. Rosper actually can move as life out of the way. Rosper can heal Gunnar. And then maybe Gunnar can come in to I'll help. get into Excellent. range. He's got movement points left. Which he does. Alright, we should be okay from here, I think. And then between a couple of arrows and a left click from Gunnar, this guy should be going down. Oh, actually, Nephew can hit him through the bushes. There we go. Alright. So, no one went down in that fight, which was really nice. Bonds are broken, be free and return to your lives because we want to get the reward from the blind farmer that I haven't met yet. So one of those captured guys was named Manny and he had been kidnapped by these guys. He was a fisherman's servant or assistant or something like that. So what I'll do is I've got to quickly go and go to the fisherman's hut to finish up that quest reward and then I'm going to stop the video. So I think that's over this way somewhere. Who would want to live in a place such as this? So I'm going to go, I'm going to walk past this hut because I know it's not that one. Those fires there, you can still smell the smoke on them. Whoever lives here may come back soon. So that I'm running past uh, suspicious um, 
home. That I so, have to <laughs> do we believe in lantern men? We don't, right? Ghost lights that lure travelers to their doom? Old wives' tales. I've seen them sometimes, when I go into the marshes for herbs. No, don't encourage him. <laughs> lantern men. My grandma used to say, lantern men mark the location of a treasure buried underwater. If we spot any lights in the marsh, I say we send Gunnar to look for treasure. All right, this is the fisherman's hut. There's Manny. Obligatory looting first. How do I loot this container? There we go. Who's there? Manny. Oh, these are the people I told you about. Ah, you are the fine young people who saved my apprentice. We were fortunate to find him. And they give me some armor webbing, which is a crafting component. It's not that useful. Uh, did I even get any quest points for that? The hunters in the marsh. Confront the hunters. I don't think so. Okay. I only got an item reward for that, I didn't get skill points. Fair enough. Alright, so there's some other quests that I've got to do in the marsh, but I'm going to come back to it. I've got to go and help my girlfriend with something. It is New Year's Eve, and I think we're getting some food ready. I'm going to go out and watch the fireworks. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you look forward to the next video. I'm just going to save this one quickly as Varanga.